Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to demonstrate for you how to use a meter dose inhaler using both the open mouth and closed mouth technique. So what is a meter dose inhaler? This is an inhaler used to deliver a set amount of medication into the patient's lung and the medications include like bronchodilators like albuterol, a brand name for that is like Ventolin or Proair, along with with corticosteroids such as fluticasone, which is known as Flovin. And patients who have respiratory diseases like asthma, COPD, may be prescribed these inhalers. Now these inhalers can also be used and be ordered as a combination where there's one inhaler but there's two different types of drugs in them, like Simbicort, which would contain a bronchodilator and a corticosteroid. So you want to keep that in mind and always look at what your patient's going to be taking. Another thing is, is that you want to teach the patient proper technique when using these inhalers because if they don't use them correctly, what will happen is that not a lot of the medication will get down into their lungs. It'll just stay in their mouth. And that is a big issue with some of these medications like corticosteroids. So whenever you are teaching the patient how to use an inhaler, try to get a spacer. This is what it looks like. And it attaches onto the inhaler and they inhale through that which I will be demonstrating in the next video how to use. But if, an if a spacer is not available, you can use the open or closed mouth technique and always go by whatever the physician has prescribed for the patient. A lot of the patients will tell you what they've been using and you need to make sure that they're doing it right. Now, why would you want to use a spacer? Well, the spacer is going to be easier to use than that open mouth, closed mouth technique because whenever you're using this inhaler, with those techniques, you have to simultaneously press the inhaler down and inhale at the same time, which takes a lot of practice. So if you have a really young patient or a patient who's older who has issues with holding the inhaler, that can be troublesome. Also, the inhaler in the chamber is going to allow this, in a sense, lead time for them to inhale the inhaler substance so they don't have to press it down simultaneously and it's going to decrease the amount of medication that's going to be left in the mouth which with corticosteroids we don't want that because it can cause mouth irritation like thrush. So what we're going to do first is we're going to perform hand hygiene and we're going to perform the patient's five rights. We're going to make sure that we have the right patient, the right drug, the right dose, we're doing it at the right time and the right route. And you always want to look at what you're giving because whenever you're doing these inhalers there's some things you want to keep in mind. Okay, say you were going to be giving a bronchodilator inhaler and a corticosteroid inhaler. So you have two inhalers. It's very important you know which one you need to give first. The first one you want to give is the bronchodilator because it's going to open up those lungs and dilate that. Then you need to wait five minutes and then administer the corticosteroid because then the corticosteroid can get in there and do its job by decreasing the inflammation. Now, say you were giving two puffs of a bronchodilator and that was it, or two puffs of the corticosteroids and that was it. You would first do a puff of the bronchodilator and say they need another bronchodilator puff, you would wait one minute and then give the other one. So if you're giving the same medication, just two different doses, you're going to wait one minute. But if you were going to give a bronchodilator, then a corticosteroid, you would wait five minutes because we need five minutes for the bronchodilator to do its job. And then another thing you need to remember is that after the patient uses the inhaler after doing a corticosteroid, they need to rinse, they need to gargle and rinse their mouth with water and then spit that water out. Because the corticosteroid, whenever it comes into contact with those mucous membranes in the mouth, it can cause thrush. So it's very important you get your patient to do that. Next, what you want to do is you want to prime the inhaler. So you're going to prime the inhaler if it's the first time you're ever using it. If the patient hasn't used it in a week or more, has dropped it or recently cleaned it. So before you do that, just make sure that your inhaler is in day. It's not expired. So to do that, what you're going to do is you're just going to gently pop this canister off and it will tell you 
the expiration date. This is 2020, so we're in date. And the dose that we're using, this inhaler that we're using here is a demo dose. It's a teaching dose. It does not contain medication. Also, never administer medications to a patient if you don't have proper credentials or if you've not been trained and always follow your hospital protocols. So another thing, whenever you're going to go priming, you wanna check expiration date, but you also wanna make sure that there's enough doses in this inhaler because they only contain so many puffs. So a lot of inhalers have a counter on them and it'll tell you how many's left, like 20, 10, however many. So look there to make sure you have enough. And if it doesn't say it like this one doesn't, the box will tell you how many sprays are in each inhaler. And this one has 200 sprays. So you'll need to pay attention to how many sprays the patient's doing a day and calculate that out. For instance, say that the patient is doing two puffs twice a day. So how many puffs is that in a day? Four. And there's only 200 puffs in this box. How many days is this inhaler gonna last if they do it every day? Just 50 days. So you wanna keep track of that. Now to prime the inhaler, what we're gonna do is we're going to remove the cap and then just hold with your thumb at the bottom and your two fingers at the top and gently give it a shake. And depending on the manufacturer is how many sprays you're gonna to spray to prime it because each inhaler is different. So always read the instructions. With this one, it's four. So what we're gonna do is just do four sprays. Now that our inhaler is primed, let me demonstrate for you the open mouth technique. I'm gonna tell you about it and then I will show you how to do it. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your patient set up and you're gonna have them hold the inhaler in between their thumb and their two fingers and give it a good shake for about eight to 10 seconds just to mix up that medication really good. Then they're gonna measure out two fingers width between their mouth and the inhaler and make sure the inhaler is pointed at their mouth. And what they wanna do is they want to breathe in and then breathe out through their mouth until they no longer can. And then after that, simultaneously, they want to hit the inhaler down and breathe in slowly through the mouth of the stuff that's coming out of the inhaler. And then they'll want to hold their breath for 10 to 12 seconds and breathe out slowly. If they need another puff of that same medication, they can do it in one minute. So let me show you how to do that. Then after that, recap the inhaler. And if it was a corticosteroid, be sure to gargle and rinse the mouth with water and spit and perform hand hygiene and document. Now let me demonstrate the closed mouth technique. So what you wanna do is hold the inhaler in between the thumb and the fingers and give it a good shake for about eight to 10 seconds to get the medication mixed well. And you'll have the patient take a breath in and then out through their mouth until they can no longer exhale, and then put the mouthpiece of the inhaler in between the teeth, keeping the tongue flat and the lips sealed around it, and they will simultaneously hit the inhaler button and breathe in until they no longer can breathe in, and then hold it for about 10 seconds, and then exhale slowly. And that'll look something like this. And after that, recap the inhaler. And again, if they were using a corticosteroid, have the patient gargle and rinse the mouth and spit with water and perform hand hygiene and document. And if they needed to use the same medication again, how, when would they do it? They would do it in a minute. But if they were going to be using, say this was a bronchodilator and they needed to use the corticosteroid, how long would they wait? Five minutes. Okay, so that wraps up this video on how to use a meter dose inhaler using the open and closed mouth technique.
Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.